Welcome guys to Buffalo Sports Talk, home of all of your sports. I am your host Matt for the NHL preview predictions and well really whatever the heck we want to jam into this. This is Jack Patterson and Chris Amanda. Uh, you want to show them your jersey? So now we're wearing the Panthers jersey. Tonight. I'm going to try to keep uh, different jerseys in circulation during these. Now I am wearing the Bills AFC uh, Championship Division. Championship. East. And I have just a champion shirt. <clears throat> I don't really like champion. Marilyn, That's a good shirt. Marilyn champion used to be like the rich brand. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, let's hop into hockey. Sabres won their game four to three in a shootout. I predicted Sabres won four to two earlier, so I was right on our goals, not Red Wings. Oh God, Red Wings. Because <laughs> we were talking about Red Wings in the behind the scenes video we're going to be posting. Chris, hey, um, could you could you stop playing I did, TikTok? I just open my phone for a second. Sorry, we, it was we, good. we don't like TikTok here. We don't like TikTok here. He doesn't. I, I he know. does. I, I don't like TikTok. Everybody so. has Tic Tac. <laughs> Except for me. Well, we beat the New Jersey Devils 4-3. to three. But um, <clears throat> we're talking about the games that are happening now. So Montreal hosts the Calgary Flames. Montreal's 5-0-2. Calgary's 2-3-1. And, and um, honestly, I love... Who do they pick up? I follow. Toffoli? Oh, Toffoli, right, right. They picked up Tyler Toffoli. He is doing really good. He leads the league in shorthanded goals with two, followed by Brad Marchand with one, and I think a few other people are tied with Marchand for one. But, um, yeah, he is looking pretty good. I love the pickup of him. And Corey Perry has been looking really good for the Montreal Canadiens, too. Um, yeah, uh, Toffoli is definitely a player to watch. He has nine points in six goals, so he's... Dominating the Canadians in seven league. games too. His first season with the Canadians, it's crazy. So um, I, I really got nothing to say because I'm not really on the Calgary Flames. I well, we're talking really about Canadians. Oh, you're talking about Canadians. We're talking about Canadians. I thought you. Said, I thought we're you talking mean. about both. <clears throat> oh. I'm okay, then. Well, uh, the only thing that the the Flames are kind of. A better win category. It's not even better. They're tied as assists. Petrie and Gaudreau have four assists each. Yeah, Petrie and Gaudreau are tied four to four in assists. But um, <clears throat> let's go to score predictions now. <clears throat> I will. I'll start this one off. Uh, the three of us. So let's see how many games there are coming out today. The last time they faced off it was four off. to two Canadians. Right. So nice. All right. Um, so I think the Montreal Canadiens will be able to win this one five. To three, can uh, you know Calgary's gonna be able to get the cheap goals like in the third period, like they did against Montreal? But Montreal is gonna have like maybe three or four goals before Calgary scores. But um, <clears throat> all right, uh, you're, you go now. So, like I said last time, it's four to two, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep it as the Canadians do even better, four to one. Hmm. So Price is gonna step up. I think Canadians defense might like fall a little bit, but then I think they can. It's either going to be four to two or four to three, and I don't want it to get that close, but it could. It, yeah, it could. Uh, I, Chris, it's your turn. I think Montreal will carry this away three to one. So that's sweet. <clears throat> it's a sweet, but I don't have the thing. So um, sweet, sweet. Hey, yeah, Chris, sweet. Why are you looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Be I guess your injury. Report. Injury report does not involve NFL right He's now. He's a Bucks fan, baby. Brady! Yeah! You want to just do the injuries right now? He's going to do NFL I'll, injuries. I'll just get done with the Buccaneers first. Davis, McCoy, Evans, and Led... I don't know. Ooh, Evans? Is he questionable? I know he's not. Uh, Evans is questionable, McCoy okay. questionable, and Davis is questionable. If they have Mike <laughs> Evans, they're going to win the game. I actually yeah. think Bucks are winning. The Should we just do Super Bowl predictions right now? Yeah. Sure, let's do it. Everyone oh, wait. Ahead. I wasn't supposed to say the Super Award because... What's Super Award? You can't say it. You just can't. You get copyrighted if you say it. You get copyrighted for seeing that? For real? Yeah. How, how much do you have to pay to see Well, you anyway? know what? I honestly don't care. Buccaneers will win the Super Bowl. Four, or no, 69, 69 to four. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Bucks. It's going to be like probably 42 to 32. There's a couple safeties in there. It's going to be close. Well, I could also total up to 42. Yeah. But... Brady's going to show who... Who a real quarterback is to Patrick Mahomes, and they are going to win. I'm gonna say twenty-seven to seven. 
sweep, 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 sweep. All right, now we move on to the next game. No one cares about Kansas City's injuries. Yeah. None of the, we all hate the Chiefs here. Yeah, we're not salty Bills fans. No, they're no, we, just a crazy I think, I think, I've team. hated the Chiefs for quite some time now. But, um... Anyways, on to the next game. So the Florida Panthers are going to Oh, face... wait, 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 wait. We forgot. What did I forget? We have to give keys to the games for the Flames because we all chose Montreal, so we got to give Calgary fans, you know, they want to hear, you know, good talk about their team. And um, honestly, if Johnny Gaudreau could step up and shoot some pucks past uh, uh, Carey Price, I think the Calgary's could win this one. Their goaltending just has to be good, otherwise they're not going to win. So good goaltending... <laughs> You gotta take advantage of like maybe power plays and stuff, and Johnny Gaudreau has to step up. That's my keys to the game. If the Calgary Flames want to win, do you guys agree with those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, on to the next game. Uh, Jack, so the Panthers are, are gonna face the Red Wings tonight at seven. Panthers are three on one, so they lost, but they're still undefeated in regulation, but they still lost. But uh, the the Red Wings are two five and one, so they're looking pretty rough. You're gonna want to watch for the Red Wings. Bertuzzi, he only le uh, leads in points, goals. So he has five points, and four of those are goals. And for the Panthers... Really, the Panthers have played less games than Detroit, and they and their players have better stats than I, Detroit. I apologize if this is wrong. Uh, Verhage? Is that how you want to pronounce that? Verhage? Verhage. There's an R in there? Yeah, Ver Ver Verhage. Excuse me. He leads in points and goals, six points, four goals. Anthony <clears throat> Duclair, the Panthers' new pickup, leads in assists with five. So that's pretty good. I like Duclair. Yeah. I like Duclair. He's a good fit for the Panthers. Five assists? Nice. And uh, Bobrovsky and Grice. So the Old Islanders, their uh, second goaltender. He's on the Red Wings now. So... Bobrovsky has not had a losing game. He's Why? 2 0 They gotta start Bernier because look at look at Grice. He's 0 4 and 1. Bernier is 2 1 and 0. But uh Bobrovsky's GAA is actually pretty high. It's 3.35. So they gotta try all, to get that. Look at down. all their goalies, they all have three. Yeah, they got they gotta get that down. Drager has a 1.92. Because he only played two games. Yeah, but still, so did Bobrovsky. Yeah, I, I see that. So then uh Bobrovsky's save percentage is Point eight seven nine. Um. <clears throat> so, want to get into picks? And I'm gonna talk about Grice. Grice is 0-4 and one, not won a game yet. His goals against average is three point oh four, and his save percentage is point eight nine nine. So, he's actually not terrible. Yeah. I just don't think Detroit has a good defense at all. No. Yeah, Chris, what are you doing? For you guys. Are you trying to grab the NHL app? Mm, I already had it. I'm just downloading the Sabres one. Everyone watching this, you better download the NHL app. You can also get it on Roku TVs, too. So, uh, yeah, get Which the is NHL interesting. app. interesting. Why does it keep doing this? Look. Because you spelled it wrong. I want to see that. No, what is he trying it's to get? It's S-A-B-R-E-S, not no. Sabres. Buffalo Sabres. There. There you go. Oh, Google he's getting the Sabres app. Everyone, if you're a Sabres It's a really well-developed app. Yeah, it's super good. Um, on to the next game. Nashville is going into Tampa Bay. <laughs> uh -oh, stinky. Uh -oh. Tampa Bay, you want me to be 100% honest? Sure. Can I get a far quiz in the yeah, chat? Yeah, they the greatest. Yeah, I mean, you think... Defending Stanley Cup champions, they're fifth in their division. Fifth. They're not even in the playoffs right now. Which the Sabres are. Yeah, even though it doesn't Sabres matter yeah. right now. They're in a playoff spot. Columbus leads awesome. at the division with 11 points after it's nine. Hope. Tampa Bay's only played five games, though, but Nashville's played seven. Okay, so I understand that. If they've, they've only played... And the hometown rivals, the Panthers, are ahead of them, so that is a plus. Um... <clears throat> So, like, what, what are the keys to the game for this one? I think Nashville has done really good penalty kill because they stopped Chicago on their power play, but Chicago still scored on the power play. But, um, it, it's like, do I really think Chicago will be able to do... Oh, no, we're not talking about Chicago right now. Can Nashville contain Tampa Bay Lightning's power play? No, they cannot. I mean, Stamkos and Kucherov and... Uh... Kucherov's out. Oh, he is? Yeah. Really? So Here, go, go down to the lineup. I want to see. Whole season. What happened to him? Something. Lightning. Did he pull up 10 Is there a roster? Oh, yeah. Is that in the lineup? 
Oh, Kalorn, Palat. Oh, me. yeah, no, they still have a really good... Yeah, Maroon, Palat, Kalorn. <clears throat> they have some really good players still. Kucherov is out. Hip injury. Hip injury. Yeah. Right there. Hip injury. So... so he, I believe he's having surgery, too, so he's off for the season. Which I think is Nashville. I, I honestly think Nashville's goal... To, if they start... I love Cyrus and Pecorino. They're both solid goaltenders. Yeah, the Walmart Sabres will win this one. <laughs> same colors, same mascot, same, same goal, goal horn. horn. A Sabretooth Tiger, too. How about we call them the Dollar Tree? The Dollar Tree uh, Sabres? Dollar Tree Sabres. Dollar Tree Sabres, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, the, like, the, okay, we're, should we just do picks? Because, I mean, we've pretty much already went, out, went over everything for this game. Um, I'm taking, uh, damn, this is the tough one, because these teams are both pretty good. I think Nashville. I mean, this is going to be a toss-up, so I'm going, I'm going, uh, four to three in overtime. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with them there. Same everything, four to three overtime, Nashville. Chris, mm -hmm. how about you? Uh, I want to say, I'm going to say somehow Tampa's going to win. It's going to be... Well, it's not really somehow. It's going to be, like, this game's really evenly matched. Yeah, I'm going to say 3-2 to two, Tampa's going to win. I would say they would Oh wait, pull it off. Nashville has the 31st penalty kill in the league. But they looked solid against Chicago, who has, like, the number three uh, power play. They allowed two goals on, like, ten power plays. Sabres have a good pick. <clears throat> yeah, they do. Here, let me look at theirs. So, we're all picking... Oh, no, we didn't all pick natural. But um, my keys to the game for Tampa Bay to win is they... Well, let's look at their power play. It doesn't really matter. They got to get on the power play because Nashville has the 31st ranked penalty kill in the league. So, if... I mean, if Tampa Bay could drop penalties, I think Tampa Bay wins this one. You can see our legs. That's kind of weird. Wait, what? See our legs. I just see our legs. Ooh, I didn't so see honestly, it. yeah, Tampa Bay could win this one if they get a lot of, you know, opportunities on the power play. But if not, I'm Nashville just has this one. Oh wait, Vasilevsky is in net. Yeah. Really? But Vasilevsky but, versus Pekarene. <clears throat> Pekarene is better because he has more goals than him. <laughs> <laughs> he has more goals than John Scott. <laughs> You just pull up their go horn right in the app. I guess. And it, it, it's an actual one. That's what they should put in NHL. I'm not. I'm um, more so, Chris, what are your keys to the game for the National Predators to win? Because you, my friend. I would say they would have to have a very good defense. Because Tampa, as we've mm -hmm. seen, they're a really good rush defense. Well, they, they, they take no time. They know how to play this game. They've been in this game for a what long time. What game are you talking about? Are you talking about the Super Bowl or are you talking <laughs> about the hockey game? You, just had, a, you just had a freaking rush defense. Chris, they haven't been this good for a long time. They're, they came in like the 90s or the 2000s. I don't know much about the NHL as I do NFL, okay? Oh, wait, off the rush. Oh, you got to say off the rush, not a good rush defense. No. It's not like you're talking about NFL. <laughs> and there just happens to be two Tampa Bay teams left in the leagues right now. So it's like... You gotta use your words right. <laughs> Chris Sorry. says I that love, the lighting. I love doing things with Chris. Chris is so much fun working with. But um, I don't know more about. Yeah, I'm fun show. too. He totally meant he totally meant me in there too. Yeah, well, I meant Chris because he's an idiot sometimes. You're not really. Well, sorry that I know more about the NFL than the NHL. I'm a huge NHL fan. He apologizes. I'm not a huge fan of like. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of really. I'm not a huge fan of golf, and I still don't. Look at this! Woods. Look at this! Okay, you just <laughs> go down to Dallas, Carolina. Just watch; it'll go back to Calgary, Montreal. It's just so weird. Wait for it. it. Takes like ten seconds. They played four games there with the COVID. Hold yeah. on, you gotta get. How is Dallas? Like How is seconds. Dallas? Anybody on there? Dallas is undefeated. Come on. Panthers were. Were. All right, you know I'm not gonna wait for that. It, it doesn't do <laughs> it when we're waiting for it. Oh, there it did. There it goes. Wow. There it goes. One, you guys look away. One, you guys look away. Anyways, Dallas is going into Carolina, and um, Dallas is. Oh, <laughs> put on the do rag. I'm sorry, I, I took your game, but I don't think you want to talk about Dallas anyway. Who me? Yeah. yeah I don't care for Dallas. I don't care All right, about so Dallas, Dallas is four zero zero. Carolina's three one zero. Both teams have played four games due to COVID. Um, I think two Carolina players are coming back from COVID from the COVID list. So um. Yeah, but I don't think they have the greatest goaltender. Is, is Cam Ward retired? 
Hurricanes have the second best is, PK is Cam in the Ward league. Retired. Cam Ward. Ninety-one point seven percent. I think he is retired. Be um. Must be. Oh, Reimer and Mrazek. Oh, they have Mrazek. Okay. Well, I think Dallas is gonna win this one. What happened to Ben? Uh, what's his face? Ben, ben Bishop. Bishop. Where's he? I don't know. I think he might have retired. Um. Well, I think, think he's probably out to cold or something. Dallas is going to win this one. Well, Kudobin, Kudobin's their starter now. They named him their starter. Dallas is going to win this one. I'd say. Uh, let's you know what three three to one three to one three to one because Kudobin's a pretty good goalie. Dallas has Not a pretty good, good enough, offense. Though. He is. He's, he has a perfect record right now. Still. <clears throat> How can you not? You can't be better than a perfect record. Yeah, you can. Look, look how many goals he's allowed. Zero point ninety nine. He's allowed zero point ninety nine goals. I, no, I don't agree with you that he could be better. He, that's as good as a goalie can get. He has under one. He's a good goalie, allowed. but he plays for Dallas. Goal, so. <laughs> no, one likes no Dallas. I'm okay with Dallas. I'm okay with Dallas. I'm not. Like, do you really think if they would have called that goal off, do you really think Buffalo would have ended up winning the game? Yes, I do. No, I don't, because that means they would have the they would have had the win in that overtime. Then they would have had to beat Dallas again for a game seven win. They could have won right there. It was but they six. they always choke in game seven. We were up three to one on the Flyers in our last playoff run. We let them win three straight. We lost just, in overtime. Just in don't game remind seven. me of failure. Yeah. I don't need to be reminded. I, I honestly think Dallas would have won that one either way. I really do. Really? You think Dallas is going to win? <laughs> All right, well, Jack, it's your pick. Dallas uh, never wins. Remember, remember you, can't be, on, you can't be biased on these. you got to actually go away. Hurricanes will win. Yeah, Hurricanes. I, big hurricanes surprise there. I like the Hurricanes, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. They're like my 18th favorite. Spell team. Hurricanes. H U R. Are you he had to scroll up the no no I'm looking no, he, he had to scroll up. Yes. Okay, Chris, your your pick, your pick. I'm, I'm not dealing Hurricanes with this. are gonna win. I'm not dealing with this. Card. I don't know. I, I just want to go up so I can see everything up here. Uh huh. So you can read their name. I know how to spell hurricanes. Spell spell Fortnite. F O R G N I E T A. Oh. Fortnite. S S. We're getting sidetracked again, like we did the other time, and we still have like the other road video. We we have what ten games left. We have we, we have seven we have seven. Oh, wait, is there more when you scroll down? No, that's it. All right, well, um, let's keep going. Chris, what's your pick or like score pick? Oh, uh, Washington Capitals are so gonna sweep the Bruins. No, we're talking about Carolina. What, what's the score? You Where? The win. I can't really. You picked Car take the do rag off. <laughs> it's a wave cap, dude. Well, I can <laughs> see. <laughs> what a. All right, let's move on to Boston Capitals. We're not making any yeah. progress. How about we Both just... teams have won five games. One team has lost in regulation. One team has lost three times in overtime. That's all NHL and NBC talks about. Capitals are undefeated in regulation. Well, Dallas is undefeated in regular, or they're defeated in general. They're not defeated. Undefeated. They're undefeated. I just said defeated. Um, I, honestly, it's like I don't know who would win this one. I think, what is going on? I, I think Capitals. That is I, I, I think Capitals. Are these are scratches. Is this scratches? I think Capitals might win it's this not. one. What is that? Poop bug. I pooped on it. No, it is. Capitals are going to win this one. These might be scratches. They are going to... What? What, what, what do I think the score is going to be? I think they're going to win this one uh, What is? 6 to 2 because they could just fire pucks on the net. And these rookie goalies they have, you think that they would be bad. Panic? Not, what's his name? They're pretty good. Panic. Panic? What is panic. Panic. Well, how, I don't how, even how, care. Um, yeah. Washington's going this one six to two. Let's just hurry up and just go to predictions. Now we don't have to cover it. Yeah, let's just Jack predictions. Uh, Washington is gonna take it three to one. Chris, Washington's gonna take it two and zero. Oh. Two and Shut up! They're going two to two. Yep. Uh, Islanders are. I'll do this one. The Islanders are facing the uh, Flyers. Islanders are three four and zero. Oh. Philly is uh, five two and one. The Islanders are. Looking as a great team. Hope the Sabres are higher than them, and the Islanders are not in the playoff spot, even though they had they're Eastern, seventh in our division. Eastern Conference final appearance. Mass Mutual. You gotta say Mass Mutual. No. Yes, you do. Mass Mutual East. It says Mass Mutual East right there. I don't want to call it the Mass Mutual. That's East. what it is. Mass Mutual East. Look, all of them have theirs. Scotia, Scotia North, North sounds the best. Honda West. Discover Central. That that's terrible. Discover is the worst. Mass Mutual. 
That's what's actually, Mass that's Mutual? Like it's like a credit card thing. You're a credit card thing. Scotia North, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it, like Scotia Bank. Isn't that Toronto? That's what Toronto plays. Yeah. If you didn't know. All right. Well, um. <clears throat> all right. What, what's your predictions for this game? Like, um, uh, the Flyers are uh leading in all categories: points, goals, assists, and plus minus. I'm not gonna get into it, but they're very close. I don't know. It's by like one, one or two. If you choke a three zero lead, I'm not picking Islanders. I don't trust them to win this one. They're not As an Islanders fan myself, I'm gonna say the affiliate is gonna win. And I mean, Flyers are what one and four on the road, two zero and zero at home. They have not been able to really win away. I'm taking Flyers because like. I don't know, Islanders can score, but they can't maintain the lead, as we've seen with the Washington game, where Washington scored, what, six? They won 6-3? They scored six unanswered after getting scored on by three unanswered. What is this, dude? Let me see. There's, like, little scratches, but they're not scratches. And it's probably the sh Oh, that looks weird. I go and clean it, and they're gone. Uh, I'm going to think Philly's going to win. Is it, like, one, little... Like so, so, we, so we're all picking Philly? Yeah. And it did scratch my glasses. But yeah, I'm taking Philly. Well, I yeah, didn't get Philly's a six in the entire league. Philly's right gonna win five to two. Philly's and gonna the win Islanders. Sabres are eleventh in the league. That's surprising. We should be like thirty first. Panthers are twentieth. Islanders are twenty fifth. Worst in the league. You guessed it. Ottawa. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> saw your thunder there. My bad. God. Detroit's thirtieth though, so don't get your hopes up, Detroit fans. <laughs> So, <laughs> Pittsburgh is going into New York. Um, I'll go to New York. I don't know who I'd want. Like, who who, who would I pick? Pittsburgh's goaltending has looked decent. T-Jari. Decent. Not good, decent. But, um... Isn't it Tristan, right? Rangers are 2-4-1, and one, and they beat the Sabres in overtime. Lengthening. Got his first goal. Lafreniere. He, or Lafreniere. He hates Lafreniere. I don't like him. I think he's bad. What was he, first overall pick? And Cousin, Cousins has more goals than he him? He just scored his first point. Not even assist. He has one point, and it's a goal. Well, I mean, it was a game-winning goal, too. Yeah, and that's all everyone's going to talk about. His first goal is a game-winning goal. Yes, it was a game-winning goal, but he still has one goal. True. And it was in overtime, so like... Zach Bogosian team. scored before Lafrendi scored. <laughs> so, Bogos I, I don't know what to tell you. Bogosian has won more cups than the Sabres franchise. Don't... I love that O'Reilly won one, though. He deserves it. He was really... I don't know why mm. Bottero would trade him away. A player like him comes around once in what he I mean, won. He, is an he won, like, like, one, he won 1,217 face-offs in a single season. Ugh. Imagine this. Hall, Eichel, O'Reilly. Ryan Hart, Skinner, Stahl. Awesome. Sabres, if, if they still have O'Reilly, we'd be a contender. A cup contender, not a playoff player. A cup. cup. Yeah. Right now, he, he, um, he like changes the entire team. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. Really, Evander Kane was mm, he was he was alright. Say, Rich, if you're watching this, cancer in the locker room. Yeah, O'Reilly back. It's too late. Oh, why? Because even if we offered a trade, See our bet Eichel and whoever, they're still not because he's their captain. Because mm. they lost what's his face, Strangelo. Each though. other, Eichel and O'Reilly. I, I, I heard that O'Reilly was had some bad morals in the locker room, but I don't. I don't know. I think that's what they said. That's how they treat him. We got like that two dudes an and a uh, <clears throat> draft picks that we actually never ended up getting. Yeah. Um. But let's Useless. let's stick to this game. I think uh, Rangers will win this one. Uh, how do we just start talking about O'Reilly? One nothing. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. I really don't. Know. Oh, we were talking about Lafreniere, and then we were talking about Bogosian winning the first cup, and then we said, oh, yeah. and I brought up O'Reilly. Yeah. Rangers will win this one. Uh, one nothing. I don't think it's gonna be a high scoring game. Uh, Penguins are going to win, in my opinion, because they're our, my family's home away from home. So, so even though they're my home away from home, I'm going to go to the Rangers one. Uh, it's tough. <laughs> uh, I would, I would, uh, I would love for Pittsburgh to be. I would, I would love for. He's trying. <laughs> Well, why you guys gotta keep talking? My ear for Christ's sake! Not we're not. You guys do it. 
he was he meant to say I would love for Pittsburgh to win, but I think the Rangers are going to take this because one, one nothing because that's all his predictions have been all night. Wow, well, you actually knew I was going to say. Let's face it, <laughs> Pittsburgh isn't good anymore. They should rebuild. They should trade away Crosby and Malkin. They shouldn't retire here. They still have some season. They should try to pick up some either draft picks or young guys. Young guys. So then they could like go on their farm team. Bear Scranton Penguins. So then they could get stuff. Fish around the farm team. <laughs> see what they can pull out of the, the depths of the AHL. Put Crosby on the AHL team. <laughs> He'll break franchise records. Probably league records. Like 70 goals. You know how, you know how there's like the three teams at the team? The first, the farm, and then there's one below the farm? Yeah, the they farm's should, farm team. They should, put, they should put Crosby on the farm's the farm team. ECHL, whatever it's called. <laughs> That's where Crosby should go. Guys, I just, First I just thought of a really good um, new series that we could do for the channel. We ha we can burn every NHL player that we hate. Like, like a hockey card, not their actual... No, like we just make like fun of them. them. Oh, oh, like roast them, okay. Yeah, like we, roast we could. them. Oh, uh, Marshawn. Can't wait for that one. A friend name would come out of my mouth. Stop playing it. It just yeah, that is from SoundCloud. That Anyways. is from SoundCloud. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to the next game. Toronto is going into Edmonton. I there's not much said here. Toronto seven two and zero. Toronto's Edmonton's first three, six, in the league right now. Uh, but they've, they've played they've nine played. games though, so they played. Don't more they than have the games. number one PK? Right? No, fifteenth. But they, they have the power second play. overall power play. With Who four, has first? Forty two percent. That's not terrible. Um, I think I think Toronto. Not much said here. Toronto's gonna win this one. I'd say I'd say uh, eight nothing. You know, as a Sabres fan, I want the, the Maple Leafs to win, to win because even though they're our bitter, they're a bitter rival, and the their Leafs fan base is super. Oilers annoying. stole Connor McDavid from us. Yeah, they were like 16th in the league, and they somehow got the first overall pick. Change the draft lottery. It's, and it's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. The Oilers aren't good anymore. Have they ever been good though? Like, uh, not they, really. I think they've they've always yeah. been. Oh yeah, the Oilers. Yeah. They're not saying all oh, the Oilers are great. Well, no, they were good with Gretzky, but the, but they, that's the greatest player of all time. You were only good when you had the greatest. You're always good with Gretzky. <laughs> like we, yeah, we only good home. with Gretzky. Who's and you talking about Toronto? Yeah, who are you talking about? My brother's a Toronto fan. He's asking who to play. Oilers. They're playing the Oilers. Maple Leafs can win this. Mm -hmm. We're all Obviously. picking it. I picked the Maple Leafs to win eight nothing. Are you gonna edit this out? No, you're in. Do whatever you want. Welcome our new Toronto guest stairs. panel member. Hey, you have a Marner shirt. Just, just show him. See, he's a Leafs fan. He lives in Buffalo, too. All right, see ya. I live in Canada. No. Canada. And I live in Afghanistan. I tell you here from Afghanistan. Hey, hey. Let's not become the juice box again. What's wrong with the juice box? Everything. Okay, okay. we're okay. talking about NHL. Toronto. Pick your game. Fine. Toronto's going to win this, like, 2-0. 6-3 Toronto. That's, that's my pick. I never said it. 2 nothing. Cause... 2 nothing. They have the greatest offense in the league right now. Fine, fine. They're going to win freaking 50 to nothing. <laughs> Presidential pick. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Presidential pick of the night. Right here. <laughs> what is this? You got to wear it and you got to give them your presidential pick. 50 nothing. 50 <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to do, but I bet it's a dumb joke. You can't just say like 2 nothing in a game where it's, it's the greatest gonna offense. It's going to be 50 to nothing, my fellow Americans. Right, no, no, no. Give us back Joe. Alright, on to the next game. Loading scores. Ooh. Uh, you want to do this one? Because I know you like Minnesota too. Okay, so as a Wild fan... He loves almost every team. That's not true. <laughs> Except for Sabres rivals. Uh, my... Whatever. I, I like Dallas. The Wild are my, one of my favorite teams. They're like... They're my fourth favorite. Fourth favorite. Um, but the Wild have the same exact record as the Avalanche. They're both 5-3-0. Oh, uh, but who's the better team? Well, leading in points, Erickson and Makar are tied. They're pretty much all tied. Erickson, Rantanen, tied. Makar has six assists. Greenway has four. M Makar has the better plus-minus. Greenway. So, you know... No, Greenway has the better plus-minus. He's plus six. I'm plus... 40 million, so I don't know what to tell you there. But the Wild are a contender, in my opinion. No, 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 no. I completely disagree a with playoff you. playoff contender. You know what? No, they're not a playoff contender. Why yes, don't... they are. Okay, so look, right? at, look at this. Who have they played? 
Who have they played? Look, look at, look at. They played Los Angeles, who is not the. They're in a playoff team. spot now, so. Let, let's look. Whether you like it or not, they're going to make. I, I'm playoffs. going to look at Minnesota's like. They're not. I don't think they're going to. I think that they have the easiest division. No, they don't. They play. Yes, they, do. they play. It's not the easiest division. There's no easy division in the NHL. Yes, there is. No, there's not. They play. We have the hardest division. Let's see. They play Vegas, Colorado, St. Louis, Anaheim, Arizona, Los Angeles. The Minnesota, only... all in that division. Who is the best team? That... Oh my God! There's, <laughs> there's only four good teams in that division. Who and is all the best four team? Are in, in the playoffs. The best team. Right now. It, it's Anaheim. I think Anaheim will kick Minnesota out of this playoff. Anaheim has been actually looking pretty decent. I, I just don't believe in the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> I really don't. I, I do not. So um, oh, I got my Colorado. whole. I got my Bible verse of the day. Could you st don't play it out loud? We're not trying to get copyrighted from Jesus. <laughs> Colorado's, Jesus. Colorado's gonna win the entire two game series between these two. Both games. Oh, presidential pick seven to two. I'm going to go wild 3-2 overtime. Uh, I'm going to say... No, that, that's just a stupid pick. I'm going to say Minnesota 2-1, two, two maybe. Two one. Interesting picks. I'll be the only one getting the... Hates. The one win. I'll, I'll be the only Haters one getting the one win. Haters going to hate. All right, how's Anaheim going to do against the Blues, Matt? It... Look at Colorado's difference. They're plus 10. Yeah, but... These Anaheim's a, a great contender, and they're facing the Blues, so. Yeah, Anaheim is a better contender than Minnesota. Look at look at their difference. Negative right. three. That's amazing. You can't get better than that. I mean, San Jose. St. Louis is negative suck. five. Well, Kings might be able to steal their spot, too. It's going to either be... No. no. <laughs> I One was, of these three teams, Los Angeles, like, Anaheim, oh. or Arizona, will steal the spot from All Minnesota. Right. Anaheim and the Blues. Uh, I'm taking Anaheim. Ana Anaheim three to three to two. Sorry, O'Reilly. Not in overtime. Just three to two. Anaheim. You heard me say Anaheim, right? Yes. Yeah, Anaheim. I'm gonna go the Blues three to two. Not overtime. I'm gonna First. say Anaheim one to zero. One nothing. I don't know. Your freaking one nothing game. So that's all you picked. <laughs> I one know. Nothing, I don't know. Two much. nothing. I don't know much about one, NHL. Today. One to one. Yes, you do. Oh, Come Buffalo on. is still going to beat the Devils four to three this game. In, in a shootout. shootout. In a shootout. Yeah, in a and shootout. Michael scores on his first shot. Yes. I, we're calling the game. Yeah, guys. I, I'm we're calling the that game. Smart. We are. We're yeah. filming this before one o'clock, as you can see. The lights still shining. Yeah, twelve a.m. on had the lights Friday. Still, the lights still shining. <laughs> we're so stupid. Um, we are so stupid. Right, Vancouver is going into Winnipeg. Vancouver's played 10 games, and I think they have the worst difference. Oh, wait, no, they have a zero difference. Well, because they beat up on Ottawa for three games straight. <laughs> but they allowed 17 goals in three games against Montreal. Montreal has the best... Uh... Oh, wait, no, Ottawa has the worst difference with negative 19. Winnipeg has the 30th <laughs> potential. Um, I think Winnipeg. Yeah. Is Duclair playing today? Was it Panthers? No, Pierre Luc Dubois. My bad. No, does he have to go through customs or no? Line Line was in Ottawa for like a papers for America, right? Oh no! It no. Oh, I thought I was gonna play the Sabres horn sound. Stop playing it. That is funny to play. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. None of us laugh. So that means it's not funny. Well, Jets could take this because the Jets definitely have like better everything. Scroll down a little bit. I like the Jets. Oh, yeah, du uh, Dubois is not playing today. Jordy Ben still plays. Braden Holt, D'Amico is their starting goal. Why not Holtby? Hell of a playing. Yeah, why wouldn't they start Holtby? They are. Or the Jets have Dubois. No, he's not playing still. Um, I'm, I'm still taking the Jets. Yeah, I like the Jets. I, I don't have a problem with them, and I think they can easily win this one. So... There you go, Jets. You're going to take it 4 to 1. Actually, no. It's the last game. You've done this for two in a row. 
because I don't want to do a presidential pick. So the uh, Jets are going to win this 10 to 1. And I think the Winnipeg Jets will win this one 5 to 3. Uh, Winnipeg Jets will win this 3 to 1. All right, nice. And um, I will have to get up for the closing remarks. <clears throat> hey. Thanks, guys, for watching this uh, Buffalo Sports Talk uh, NHL prediction show and preview. Um, if you like this, subscribe. If you didn't, dislike the video and never watch this again. But um, don't forget. You ready, guys? Do, do, do you know hold what the closing up, thing up. is? Yeah. No. Um, here we go. Three. Two, one. Let's, Let's go, go Buffalo. Buffalo.